This Enterprise Agent Pro Tip, we're going to do a quick walkthrough how to get ADB installed on a Mac machine. Let's get started. All right, quick background. ADB, also known as Android Debugging Bridge, is a tool that allows you to connect to your Android device to deploy software to it, install or remove software, change settings, and also do things such as screen share. I found the easiest way to actually install an ADB on a Mac machine, the easiest and most consistent way, is through the Android Enterprise Studio. So let's get started here. Open your web browser, go to developer.android.com slash studio. You'll see this window has the install button for downloading Android Studio. So we'll click on that. Read all the terms and conditions because the lawyers need jobs too. Click I've read and accept them. And depending on your device, if you have an Intel Mac or a Mac with the M1 or M2, select the variant you look for. Typically, I think it's about 1.1 gig right now for draft, depending on the time where you Watch this video, it may be bigger or smaller, so it'll take a couple minutes to download. So we'll quickly fast forward to that. Once it's downloaded, click on the folder icon. You open it and see it in this folder. Double click on it, it'll open the installer. Drag Android Studio to your applications folder. And we'll do the install. So you see here, it should take about five to 20 seconds, depending on how fast your computer is. Once it's installed, open your applications folder. You'll see Android Studio here. Double click on that to open it. It'll prompt you if it was downloaded from the internet. Click open, accept that term. And on the initial run, the first thing it's going to do is ask you to install the Android SDK. Android SDK is actually what includes ADB and some of the other tools that are used for connecting your device. So click next. You prompt you. I typically believe the default is Android SDK. And then the platform at the time of the recording is API 34. And it'll install it into a library on your computer, typically under username, library, slash, Android SDK. Click Next. Next. Step more terms. Thank you, lawyers. This should take about three or four minutes, so I'll watch as this goes by. Once it's complete, it'll tell you everything that's been installed, where it was installed to. Click Finish. And now you're ready to create a new project. So if you create a new project, you can just do a blank one. Finish. They'll open a couple other items and install them. Now you're in the IDE. One of the nice things about the Android Studio IDE is it does include a terminal window. So you can come down here. You don't have to open a separate terminal window. Put close on this for tip of day. And to tell if ADB is installed, you can just type ADB help into this window. And you can see that ADB, all the commands for ADB will be there. If you have a device connected and you have ADB enabled on that device, you can do ADB devices. And it will show you any devices that are attached. I currently don't have one attached to this computer, but if I did and it was connected, you'd see that there. So that is the fastest and easiest way I found on Mac to install ADB and get it running on your machine. If you have a Windows machine, you could do something similar. Yeah, there is a pretty slick install for Windows as well. There's also a couple other install methods for Windows that are a little cleaner. Thanks for watching this episode of Enterprise Android Pro Tips. If you have additional questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Or if you're looking for other topics for us to walk through quick and easy tips on, let us know. Thank you.